Finally, it's, it's, it's happened. It's, it's here and it's happened. And man, it feels good. did a thing today. Um, you know, we had two elders who had COVID last November and were not able to be a part of the, the ordination service on that day. And, and today we ordained them. They were uh, voted into full membership uh, in the annual conference by the clergy session in November. But today was that culmination of all of that incredible work uh, and time of discernment that they have done when we can actually lay hands on them uh, and ordain them. And it was a pretty special, sweet, sweet service. I've been anticipating this moment for a very long time. The pandemic has uh, postponed that in numerous different ways. And uh, gosh, I know I, I'm gonna keep saying this, but it feels so good. It just feels so good, you know, to, to finally have reached this milestone and experience this special moment. I've been on this road since I was called into youth ministry in 2003 and gave up on ministry and found healing and freedom in the United Methodist Church in 2009, then entered into the process and it has been uh, a windy road, but I know that God's road always takes you where you need to be the way you need to get there. It was hard not being able to be there in November, not being able to celebrate with everyone, but having it done this way um, with, with all, of the, all of the specialness, all of the effort put into it, I, I guess ju just for two people, uh, it feels even more special and unique and it does feel like uh, even though the people couldn't be here in person, like the entire conference was with us. I felt the presence of of everybody in the conference, even though this whole this whole thing was much different, um, it was it was as if we were in the the Shreveport setting, you know. And I just I felt everybody else's presence in that moment at the same time, even though there was just a handful of people in that room. It's different and it's still the same, right? Uh, because this is when we enter into covenant uh, relationship with one another as clergy. And so the, the ordinal, as we call it, the order of worship uh, has, has been with us for a long time. And, and there's so many of us that have can remember saying these words and hearing these words for ourselves. So it's really important um, that we, that's the way we come into covenant with one another. And this has been an unforgettable uh, ordination for sure. <laughs> Having it so focused on us really felt incredibly special.